Uh, my name's Laura Kane, and I'll be doing the best practices for reconciling subledgers. Um, so um, I'm going to do a demo for you, but just um, what I'm going to go through is comparing historical aged trial balances um, to the GL trial balances to find out. So I think I'm sure everybody does that each month. Um, so you could do it with your AR, your AP, banking, inventory. Um, just make sure everything balances each month. And if it's out of balance, um, I'm going to show you how to run a reconcile to GL report. Um, and like I just said, you can use this for payables, receivables, inventory, bank subledgers. Um, in this report, if you guys all, has everybody used this probably? But report will show the differences between GL and subledger so they can either correct or have a reconciling item. And then I have on this presentation just where to go, and I'll kind of go through that with you guys, and then picture of the report. So now I will get into GP and show you guys. So I'm in GP here. Um, so you would go into your GL, everybody, you know, your, um, so we'll do our financial um, detail, and I'm not showing again. Hold on just a sec. Hold on just a second. I know. <laughs> this screen. <laughs> Did it just go out? Yep, we're just waiting till the computer um, Skype, you know, so you guys can all see it. So hopefully it will, they can see online. Oh, I'm sorry, online, I didn't realize online's working, but um, it's here in the room, it's not working. So just give us just one moment so everybody can see. You're so smart. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we're back. So as I was saying, we will um, we'll run a trial balance for our AP account. Um, let's see where we're going here. So I'll just do the I'll just do a detailed summary, and I actually have this all planned out. So I have my AP account, and I have a date. So we'll go ahead and run that to see what the balance is. Um, so we'll have the balance here. You know, when you, you guys know, we get you'll run this. You'll run your historical age trial balance. You'll make sure if they don't balance, you'll run your um, detailed, your reconciled to GL. So everybody's done this. Um, I know other people. Dana has had other issues with hers, um, AP, your AP. We've had other issues to try and find, but this was a good um, good place. It just have some place where you can want to save it. So we'll go ahead and run this. And I did the wrong date, so I'm gonna do this again. So you want the date that you're actually trying to reconcile. And so I have my AP account. I have it where I want it to save. I go ahead and hit process. So it will show you unmatched, potentially unmatched, matched transactions. Um, really what you need to look for in most cases is your unmatched transaction. One thing I will stress with this report is not to use it as a balancing tool, but or 
where you balance, still run your detailed reports as you normally would, but use this as a tool if you are out so that you can figure out, you can try and figure out what's wrong. And what's nice about this is you can drill back onto a GP, hopefully it's gonna work, you can drill back to your GP um, windows to see what's, see I was having, I was having problems with this earlier. So let's go back here. So if I, I see this, uh, I think it's 1, 2,222. If I drill on this, I can go to the journal entry. I hit yes. Most times it will pop right up. If it doesn't pop right up, it's usually hiding. But I can see that this was a, a journal entry. It's a general ledger journal entry, which shouldn't be done so that if anybody's talked to me, they always know I always harp on that, but to, not to do GL accounts or journal entry to uh, any of your sub-ledger accounts because that will throw it off. So you could go ahead and um, figure out the reason why you needed to do this and maybe put it to another account, um, things like that. You can, let's see, I'll try this again. This wasn't, come on. All right, this is not working as I wanted it to, but you guys understand the reasoning. We, you know, you can just click on here and it'll take you right back to your window. And you can kind of drill down exactly, you can drill down to the, um, how it was applied, anything you need to know, you can drill on that. You guys also have amounts that you're off um, and you can't kind of figure it out. I know I've done this with a few of you guys. Um, if you go to your smart list, I don't know if anybody, if there's. I use this all the time when I'm helping people um, reconcile their accounts. I go to the financial window um, and go under f account transaction and I will put on the search, I will put in a debit and credit amount. Um, say I'm looking for $1,500, I'll put it in for the debit amount as well. $1,500, I'll put um, match one or more, and then I can, it will show me anything that's come in. I can even put um, dates in there if it's a normal amount. So now I can see on here all the different things that have happened with this amount, and I can figure out what I'm looking for. Um, so if you have an amount, I know I've had this where I can't, um, I have an amount that I'm looking for to reconcile, and we'll kind of drill back on here to kind of find the information. And you know the smart list, you can drill back and you can drill right back into the entries. Um, does anybody have any questions with this right now? Yep. Yep, 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 I'll go back to that. I think I just closed it out. So yeah, if you just search type, if you put match one or more, you could have debit and credit. So yeah, because I've done that too, and you know, you put them, and then you put them together to kind of look at it. But now you can do search. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? Um, does anybody else have uh, different things that they've done to kind of reconcile, find things? This is my, this is probably where I would go to for any of your records. I've done this for ba banking. I've done it for AP, AR. Um, I have not personally done it for inventory, but I know you can. Um, but, you know, it is a good place to start. I've done this with banking where you can kind of, kind of drill into it to find where you might be out on your bank recs. Does anybody else have any good ideas that they want to share what they've found? Dana? <laughs> I'm sorry? Yep, I will, I will go through that. Yep, oh no, I was, but I will go through that. Um, so as Bill was saying, reconcile to GL. If you pick your bank account information, the banking, you do have to pick the checkbook. And when you set, first set this up, you have to put in your accounts that you you know, like this one here, I don't have a, a bank because um, I've never done this on here. So I'll put the first bank on here and it did come up with the number. So then you, you know, so you do have, there's two spaces here to do that. 
we did you know AR and inventory it's the same it's the same as it normally will I'll have to put in my AR count and I think it's right here and then I have to pick a place where I want to save this and then I can hit process for AR same with inventory anybody have any questions anybody have any questions over here any comments <laughs> Um, but that's that's really what I wanted to show you guys, just to make sure everybody knew, because I know that is that can be a stressor when you're trying to close the books and you need to find something. But that report is very helpful, so you don't have to go through all the different accounts. Um, and then going back to that smart list, that's a great way to find some things too, if you have a specific number. On on my report. I've done several months at a time. Have they? Did they have a problem? There is. There is. The a lot. Of, it depends on how how much AP and or whatever you have, but it will take a long time, and it will be a big report. So, if you know, you need to decide how. But I have done a whole year. Um, sometimes it takes a while, but it's it's sometimes it's nice. Hi, I'm going to repeat my this question I had for the online, <laughs> um, for you guys online. Somebody had asked what the, you know, to have a date range when you're reconciling your GL. So your date range, usually I do the month that you're out, because usually you'll have, you know, if I was out a certain month, I pick that month. But if you don't know where you started, I might pick a year, you know, you might go back to each month. Um, you know, you might do a year, but it will be a lot of information. So it might take a few minutes to actually have that report in there. But if, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Sure. Go ahead. Was it 2016 or 15? What? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, so the question was, somebody had asked if they were um, inventory. They didn't see it on their um, screen, but I think it, we're looking, and we think it came out in 2015. I think somebody's looking it up right now. Version 2015. Um, yeah, it didn't have a bank either. So if that person, what what uh, version are they on? Whoever answered that question, ask that question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. Yep, because I didn't have one on there. So the question was. Okay, I'm I'm learning. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. So we were asked about potentially unmatched. Um, so we have, this report always has unmatched, potentially matched, and matched. Matched are good. So, you know, it's it's saying that it's in the um, AP side and it's in the uh, GL side. Potentially matched, it might be where, I would always start with your unmatched because you're potentially unmatched. Usually, if you, I don't have it here, but it, it might balance if you kind of, it has debits and credits, um, it might all balance out and be zero, so you won't have to worry about it. But it just depends on if, um, say you're doing a check, a check payment um, for $100,000, and then you have all these checks, you know, different checks that make up the 100000 That could be one side, but they all kind of equal each other out um, in the end. So I would always start with unmatched, potentially unmatched. Sometimes, occasionally, there are some things in there, but just kind of make sure that they kind of balance each other out. If they do, then you're good to go. Um, but... Sometimes, well, when you have, when you have like some discounts maybe and <laughs> some things like that, you will maybe have some issues, but that's another kind of part that we can look into for you if you need help. But um, let us know if you have any questions or um, have any suggestions, because that would be good to kind of share with the group as well. 
and they do not have inventory? Okay, well, we can maybe get their information and we can take a look. Yeah. Yep. Is there any other questions? Okay. All right. Well, thanks. Let us know if you have any questions.